chip build 4.0. Uh, this is a full plan design, and this is pretty much what we're going to end up with um, when we're finished. And to get to this point, first thing what you're going to do is go to Format, Dimension Style, Modify, make sure in your primary units you're an architectural, maybe 1 16th of an inch precision. I set my text at 5 inches. Symbols and arrows should be 4 or 5. Um, close out that. If you don't have this bar at the top, remember you go here and type in menu bar and change the default from 0 to 1 and that will give you this bar here. Also I would check my um, drawing utilities units. Make sure this is set at architectural and this is at happens to be at a quarter. And what you're going to do, you're going to use your line command here. And you're just going to start at any point, And you're going to type in 15 foot 3 inches. Enter. And I'm going to hit escape. This line is the same as this one. And if you look at your book, you would go line. And you would start at this point or here. And go, <coughs> excuse me, go 25 foot 6. So I would click here, point it in the direction I wanted to go, 25 foot 6 inches, enter, and I get that line. I'm going to go ahead and erase this, what I just drew, because basically I already have it drawn here. And you're going to complete that perimeter. This one would be 30 feet. This one coming down would be 30 feet. Coming over would be 14 foot 9, and so on, until you connect here. Um, what I would do after that, in this chapter he shows you how to use the double line command and you can, if you want to, you can read, read the book and learn how to do that. I just find it much easier to come up here and use my offset and we know by reading that the line offset is 5 inches. That is what the width of the wall, so I just hit offset. I'm going to do that one more time. All set. Type in 5 inches. Hit enter. And basically you're just going to come over here and click that line and move over like this. Move over like that. Until you get all your offsets here. Like that. Come in. I'll pick one corner. You can go to trim. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can go to trim. Click this line. Right click left click this line, hit escape, hit space bar, left click this line, right click, and left click this line, escape. Or if your fillet command is set to zero, I can just come in here and click those two lines and do it that way. And you want to do that until you get all of your perimeters completed. Then you're going to come in and draw your, your walls the same way. You come in, draw one line, offset it, draw a line up, offset it, trim it until you get all the interior walls. That'll be simple enough. Then you're going to come in here, for instance, where the windows are. I'm going to locate that. Um, I know that these are 5 foot windows and it's 6 foot 4 from the end. So what I would do is just offset 6 foot 4 inches this line here. That gives me the center of the window. Then you're going to offset this line over here and that will be half of 5 foot which is 2 foot 6. Do it in both directions maybe I'll set this line over six inches, this one over six inches, and put a line right in the middle. And then you'll have your window. Once you have your window, you just want to draw this one time. Because I can take this, move it over to the side, and just copy them into place. And I can use my copy like this. Let me do that again. 
copy. And I can have this window and I can rotate it. Just pick any spot, rotate it 90 degrees. And then I could set it in this place. So you only have to do, do this one time and just reuse it. Also, you're going to come in and you can use your ellipse command to do these. All, all these are three lines and then just put a radius in. Just make it uh, look proportional. I don't really think he gave you uh, a radius for that, but I can show you what that is. Three inches. I think that's typical for all. Um, just use your ellipse command here. draw this one put it in place and last but not least you're going to come back and put your dimensions in make sure you have your layers um, you want to make sure you have center lines dimension layer object text your walls windows put them all in different layers and use the same colors we have here and you can use this for reference for what dimensions and how to dimension it Later, you're going to create, once you're finished, you're going to create a block here. Go down to your title block. You're going to use your insert to insert that title block here. And this is what we want to see on the work that you turn in right here. So kind of just uh, take a look at that. Make sure you put your name on it, a chapter and exercise, and turn this in. And what happens... Um, there will be, I think, uh, two other floor plans in the back. We'll look at those. It, but we're going to do everything pretty much the same. Um, but use this one for reference. I'm going to briefly show you what to look for on uh, floor plan A and floor plan B in the back of the chapter.